but I, I think the first time I tried it, well, actually not, I think I know the first time I tried it, I too had gone to Sarasota <clears throat> under your recommendation and, and, you know, talking to Carol and had my journey. But the reason why I did it was because with the injury that I had sustained um, at the start of this year, I was so debilitated with sciatica that the pain I was, I was in and with my um, training in yoga therapy as as a facilitator, but understanding the complexity that the body keeps score. And I had felt that with all the recovery, the physical work of the hurricane and the not getting the rest that I needed just began to build up. But I knew that there was something that was energetically stored in my body that really needed to go. And it was telling me through this horrible sciatica. I mean, I could, I could barely stand up for more than five minutes at a time before I had to lay down on, <clears throat> on the floor and try and, you know, alleviate that. But, um, so I wanted to, to try the ketamine to find the source of where this, uh, pain was coming from. And, um, I don't, I don't think in that, in my experience, the first one that I felt universal consciousness, like you did, but I came to the realization that I had I had given my power away and needed to take my power back. Um, I also came to the realization that because the injury and the pain was on my right side, that's my masculine side, which has been the dominant force in my life. And my feminine, my left side needed to support the left. And I, and I needed to allow my body to nurture the left, nurture the right, the feminine, nurture the masculine. Whereas my whole life, my masculine had been that forward facing in, in my work that I had done. So those were the two biggest lessons in what I came out of the ketamine with, um, with, with that realization. And the experience that I did was with an injection, which was within wow. five minutes, boom, you know, I was in the experience and then uh, went deeper, but I, I brought my own, I went into a room I, by myself and I brought my own music with me. So, and music wow. that I was familiar with, that I used in my own meditation practice. So I, it, there was a, I knew where that was going to, it could take me the potential. And then I was hoping that the ketamine would take me further into it versus, you know, keeping me in alpha state, but really to go deeper inward. You know, I just had a realization of, of my own from you telling that story. <laughs> And that was um, all of my injuries that I had ever had. I fell and hurt my knee. I had, I hurt my toe. I had a frozen shoulder. They were all on the left. I never had anything on the right. Uh, and that's the feminine side. Mm -hmm. And so when I fell out in the, when I fell into the fire pit in the backyard mm -hmm. and gashed my head, it was on mm -hmm. the right side. Mm-hmm. So it, you know, I never realized that until you just said that, that all, that it had, and I, that, that was a terrible gash. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it was. <laughs> yes. It's a, do you have a minute? Are you busy? <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> well, are you working? Do you have to be, uh, yeah. You, uh, what's up? <laughs> I fell and hurt my head. <laughs> so anyway, um, it, yeah, it does. I mean, that it's something about that, about ketamine opens up your uh, subconscious and your yeah. conscious mind together. And I know that um, 